Hi, TH Colleen for Solar Cities again, and uh, we're looking at a bunch of improvements that we could do with the IBC. We showed that if you cut the pipe feeding pipe down at a 45 degree angle at the bottom and drill a couple holes, you can avoid the sludge buildup that blocked this when you're using animal manure as your starting material. This is not an issue for those of you using just uh, slurry. Uh, liquid slurry, but if you're using animal manure, then the, the, the straw and the grass and the animal manure will clog things up. So that was one improvement. Uh, it was nice to know that we could remove the pipe and fix it and put it back in. Another thing is uh, we're going to use a two inch pipe here. So it's the same size as this with a cap on that to reduce down to half inch. This is three eighths, much too small. Reduce to half inch, but from a two inch. You can always use the same size uniseals and pipes. Um, and you can have your valve at the top, so you can still use a half-inch valve to save on money, but use a two-inch pipe here, and that'll keep the sludge from blocking here, because sludge can get up in this tube very easily and clog it, which is why Kathy had to drain it down to get some of that out. And then, of course, to get rid of that uh, scum layer that inhibits gas and clogs pipes, you want to skim off, after a few weeks of operation, you want to skim off the uh, the scum that's formed and then you won't have problems in the future but that means you have to be able to open this easily and here we had made it fairly fixed with the PEX and so it's not easy to get this off in the future we want to use unions that you can unscrew here and just take it off and then un unscrew there so uh, yeah use unions have it be so that at any point you can also should have a union here so you can take this off and jam a stick down here here we do have a union as you can see and that union is what made it easy to unscrew so that we could get inside here with a pole. So having unscrewable unions everywhere, it'll cost you a bit more, but it'll certainly save you a lot of trouble. But it, I just let me say one thing though, there, there's also the uh, quick release um, uh, PEX connectors where you kind of pull back on uh, a little plastic thing and then you can just kind of, oh, you can just pull it out. Nice. So, so quick-release PEX yeah. would then be another another thing. Yeah. Maybe obviate the use of unions here. Just use a yeah. quick-release PEX. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to un un unscrew this. Um, let's see how hard that is to do here. Ah, it's not that difficult. This one isn't that tight. And, uh, oops, I'm going to get hit in the face by this. And a little bit more. More. Okay, there we go. And you can see in here, this is what's gumming up and stopping gas from here. This is what's gumming up and actually keeping the gas from coming out here. Uh, it's, it's great organic matter, there's no question. It would be nice be if we could compost. leave it in, but it's causing some problems. We'll try to scrape as much of this out as we it can. It looks like leaves. It does look mm -hmm. like leaves. Hmm, I wonder who would put leaves in there. <laughs> Somebody named Warren who suggested that I try it. Right, and they're, and they're floating up there. Now, if they sank to the bottom, they'd be great surface area and great source of carbon, and there's nothing wrong with that. But as they're floating up at the top, they're causing disruption when you have, uh, when you got the water all the way filled up. It's definitely going to block this out. Mm -hmm. So the thing to do, if, if you start with manure in your tanks, then the thing to do is put it in, but know that after about three or four weeks after you've got your first gas, you'll have to open this up and get rid of the scum. This is really good for the beginning because it's what enables the bacteria to colonize and to reproduce. So there's nothing wrong with starting with this, but it adds that hassle. What I try to do, what I did with my own two IBCs, is I had started with an arty digester that was open. I had removed the floating gas cover and scraped the scum out like I was supposed to after three or four weeks and then put it back. But when I started my IBCs, I used just the fertilizer that came out, which was liquid, to start it. And I filled my bottom with gravel and with uh, plastic bits. And that's how I increased my surface area. And here we did that as well. But we also started with a really uh, lignocellulosic uh, starting material. So no loss here. We just have to scrape it off. Yeah. You you make good, good fertilizer. Make See good if you fertilizer. put that in your... Uh... Your aquaponics. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. I gotta have